Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to this shithole. In... what's this game called again? Sword of Mana? Yeah. In Let's Play Sword of Mana Blind! It has been about a month since I recorded this. Having said that, the last time I recorded this, I had a failed recording of sorts. In several ways, actually. First of all, I spent about 20 minutes fighting the boss that's coming up. So, as soon as I remember how to get into that, you know, that, that'll be fun fun to repeat. Can I just kill you? I can just kill you. Um, but other than that, I also, it's not like I just threw it away because I screwed up against the boss. I actually screwed up the recording. Like, I lost it completely. Which is a whoopsie. Um, hmm. But I digress. Wait, no. No, I don't digress. I'm gonna keep talking about this topic. Um... Yeah, pretty much... I... was so tired after fighting that boss, and then basically making no pr progress for a whole episode, that I accidentally shut my emulator down wrong, and that sort of screwed everything up. Like, my video file was corrupted, and my audio wasn't really very good. And couple that with a pretty crappy episode in the first place because of what happened to the boss. And I just... It wasn't even worth the effort of trying to recover it, which I may not have been able to do anyway. Ha ha! Now, I need to... Okay. I so sort of remember how to combo. Okay, the cloud. The cloud is, is... Danger! The cloud is danger. Heal, please. Don't... Don't get hit by eye lasers, either. Those will freaking kill me. Probably. I think they'll kill me? I'm pretty sure they'll kill me. Now, I kind of want to get those boxes I didn't get before... Because I'm pretty sure I got them in my previous attempt, but I don't remember how. Can I? Thank you. Now, can I kill these guys, please? Because they're in the way. A little bit. I guess I could use my bow for this. I'm pretty sure that's more effective against these, but... Whatever. Uh... Can I? No. I'm not sure I even ca- oh, nope, nope, don't care enough. Now, out of curiosity, can I- no. How about- well, that, that almost works. No? I have no idea how to get these boxes. I'm certain I picked them up last time, too. Oh well. They're not important. No, what's important is this thing. Ha ha! Now I can refight this bast. Oh, also there's a save point. Can't get over there, I don't think. Maybe it was different boxes that I got last time. I'm certain I picked up some box, but you know, whatever. Gee, I wonder what you're gonna do. Well, it's here to act as a plot coupon so it can blow the wall and up the wall and cause another monster to attack me. Wait, is that? So here's the thing. This bastard. Basically, only my, my sword is my only effective weapon against this. And my sword is fire al al aligned. Meaning, I deal basically no damage to it. And to top that off, it is it hangs out where it's really hard to hit with my sword in the first place. Yeah, 14. Although I've read that apparently has quite high defense in the first place, but it's still just total bullshit as far as I'm concerned. And that's pretty much the end. All there is to it. Hmm...
Okay, that hit. Good. And you actually need to be really damn careful where you stand. Because when it's bouncing around like that, it does a... L actually, you know, it just generally does a lot of damage. But when it's bouncing around is no exception to the hat. So you need to be really careful to not stand anywhere it'll bounce to. Ah! Oh, and I've tried magic on him before. It's basically worthless. Maybe if I had a real, if I was spec for magic, then Undyne might be effective. But frankly, I doubt it. Oh, this head thing that just plain kills you. Don't get hit by it's by the guy's head. Oh yeah, it does that too. At least that's easy to dodge. Ah, it's a head. Hmm. At least it's easy to dodge the head, but don't don't try to hit the head. It will kill you, like for sure. Can I like bounce that back at it? I wonder. Problem. Ah. Okay. You see, that's what I mean. I was standing in the wrong place, and it just took out like two thirds of my life instantly. It's basically total bullshit. But it doesn't. Oh no, no that that was not a good hiding place. Also notice it hasn't turned into a big body for a while now. It's just going between the bouncing ball, which is small and hard to hit and hurts a lot, and the head, which is basically impossible to hit. Of course, this way he still hurts a lot, but hmm, I think the easiest way to him is actually when he's in the ball. If only because sometimes he go moves vertically, where it's pretty easy to stand beside him without getting hit. Hmm. Ow, for f Come the hell fuck on! The hell fuck on? Sure, why not? Come the hell fuck on! There's nowhere else I could stand! That was the safest place, and it was right in the path of his freaking claw! Alright, I hit you once. And that's basically how this whole episode is probably gonna go. Unless I run out of MP. In which case, you will also get treated to a lengthy sitting sequence, most likely. Yeah. Or I say if, but really I should say when. And of course Lester here is completely useless because, like so many other enemies, this one is immune to bows. It does seem like the most common thing to be vulnerable to is slashing, so I don't think I don't think I'm just imagining that. But no, what's bullshit isn't being vulnerable to slashing a lot, what's bullshit is taking no damage from things to which you are not vulnerable. Vulnerable means you should be weak to it, not that you're immune to everything else. Otherwise it makes people like Lester here completely fucking useless. Ah, uh, nope. Maybe this is the one that I can dodge by standing up here. Hmm. Because I know one of his bullshit attacks cannot hit you if you're standing from the sword. I don't consider those bullshit attacks. He's kind of bullshit because it's impossible to hit with your damn sword, but the attacks themselves are fairly reasonable, except, well, except for the sword thing. No! Like that. That is pretty much, that is pretty bull. Again, not that it hits me so much as the amount of damage it deals. Oh, I can hit him from here! That's uncommon. Uh, well, my sword is leveled up twice in this fight alone. That in itself s speaks a lot. Nope. Ah! Oh yeah, sometimes he does that too. I forgot. And then... And then if you're doing what I just did, you're probably going to be dead.
Like, I cannot imagine doing this fight as the girl. She would just not be able to touch this guy. Well, I'm out of MP now. Against this boss, the optimal thing to do would definitely be to sit, but I don't really feel like waiting around for that. So, let's see. I know there we are. Ha! Stay well away from it when it's it's safe to stand beside it and usually under it, I think. But if you're anywhere near below it, or above it rather, then you're just going to be bloody dead. For that matter, actually, I say it's safe to stand beside it and below it. But obviously, eh, can't speak. But obviously that's not always the case, because sometimes it does weird shit. Like that. Shown. Weird shit. Oh hey, I got a critical hit! 32 whole damage! Keeping in mind that against regular enemies, I deal probably close to 100? Actually, I'm not sure how much I deal against regular enemies. To be honest, I was not really keeping track. And it's been too long for me to really know. Nonetheless, significantly more than I deal here. Oh hey, I just realized I'm dealing 20 per hit now. Those extra sword level ups, they are really paying off it seems. Now, if only Wisp healed for more, but no, magic hates you in this game. Unless you use it for attacking, it doesn't level up. Which is sort of bullshit in itself, but you know, let's not get into that. Oh, I have a range between like 20 and 15, I guess. 20 is on the high end. Well, good thing it's hard, is hard, rather. Good thing it's easy to dodge his head. Oh, right, that's why that's bullshit. Basically, the only place, most of the places you can hit, you can stand to hit him, are in danger of getting massive damage because they're in his path, potentially. That, coupled with the massive damage his attack deals, is why it is bullshit. If it was just one or the other, it wouldn't actually be that bad. I mean, it would still be bad, but more. It would be bad more as a result of the things that generally draw this fight out. Namely, that I can not really deal any damage to him. Having said that, I really have to wonder how much of this is from the element of my weapon, and how much is actually just because his defense is stupid high. Because I'm sure my element is contributing, but I don't think it's necessarily contributing by as much as it may seem. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh! That, that could have easily killed me just there. Okay, you're up again. Nope, can't hit you from here. Can I? Nope. Apparently not. Really? You're just gonna... Really? Move back a little. Yeah, like that. I can hit you from behind really well. Oh. Well, that's my third level up, sword level up, on this fight. I can probably hit him for 21 damage now. And seriously, it's not safe to stand in front of him, so- Oh! I killed him! I did it! Second time around. Yeah, no. The first time I did this, it was basically a 20 minute fight that ended with me dying. And then, like I explained earlier, my video got corrupted. This is... the Sword of Mana? That thing? The Sword of Mana? Oh no. It's all rusted and worn. Not exactly what you'd call they're what you'd expect from a holy sword. This sword. The number of tales it could tell. It must be the sword of mana. Um... 
I mean, based upon its location, I would tend to agree. But your logic is not really logic. Oh, I am so happy I don't need to walk out of here. Like, you don't even know. You really don't even know. Welcome home. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're safe. So, did you find the Sword of Mana? Yes, we did. Here it is. It used to be that the instant a brave Gemonite held the sword, it would shine like the sun. Hmm. Uh, oh, please do. The, the Gemma's fought to the end with her rust. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Legends are like that, you know? Is that... Is that the truth? You knew that all along, and you... Now I get it, Seba. The sword is to be held within the heart. If it is wielded with firm conviction, even a tree branch can become a holy sword. Having said that, I'm pretty sure there is actually a sword of mana in the mana series. Like, I'm pretty sure that's an actual thing. Now you've got it! The heart is what's most important. Possessions and power are never the true measure of a person's worth. That was a tricky puzzle to figure out, wasn't it? Uh... Like I said, I'm pretty sure there's a literal sword of mana. Possibly the one we picked up, possibly something different. Actually, it's probably the one we picked up since it was in a fucking underwater volcano! <sighs> But anyway, words are easy to bandy about. But certain lessons are best learned through experience. I guess you could say Julius. No, I mean Van Dole learned the same thing. For even if you use mana power to control the whole world, it's all fleeting. But it is certain that thousands of people will be sacrificed for this fleeting vision. Even now, as we know, Julius is Vendor. Bogart and I have a reason to stop him, and yet we cannot. The promise we made back then lives on. Now that we've handed the key to Sanctuary over to Julius, it's impossible for us to get there ahead of him. But if the path to Sanctuary is still closed off... It's sealed. But what about raising Dime Tower? Yeah, that's what I want to know. The Vandal Empire's best technology was used to create a bridge that led to the Mana Sanctuary. That is Dime Tower. Maybe it's Dimma, actually, but I'm gonna keep calling it Dime. A long time ago, Blurgrens told me something about it. But according to him, Dime Tower was destroyed along with the rest of the Empire. Well, according to him, the sword glowed, so, you know, back to the glass desert is what I'm getting from this. Then the path from Dime Tower must be inaccessible. The path to Dime Tower, you mean? Well, 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 Siba, what you gonna do now? Was that Wily's voice? 
Almost certainly not. I don't, I don't, I don't even care. Bogart, don't you think it's about time you told them what they need to know? Seriously, honestly, I only remember two voices. Actually, no, I remember three. Um, not Bogard, sealed in glass desert. I remember Sibba was the voice that I did for him, more or less. I remember Grant was the snake voice. And I remember that the evil demon jester was Cap basically just Kafka. Although I think he was a little different from Kafka, he was basically just Kafka. But I never thought I'd have to see break the seal on Dime Tower for as long as I lived. I never thought I could actually talk. Actually, that's not true. Wait, what? Whatever, this is getting long, and I honestly really don't care. All I need to know is where I'm supposed to go, and it's looking like the answer to that is the desert. Possibly with a pit stop to visit the cactus first. Oh? What am I holding for? If you're going to save the world, you'll need a decent meal and a good night's rest. You won't make it a dime tower if you're all worn out. Once again, Sela proves to be the sharpest of us all! You got that right. That night, the faithful threat Faithful friends? What? No. The faithful friends feasted. Damn alliteration. They held a small banquet. With tears for the departed and thanks for newfound friends. Pleasant memories would repel them forward. Bonds of friendship would carry them through. But with each heartbeat, time marched on. That would have been a really good place for an episode break. Well, oh well. <laughs> The starry night is so beautiful. This guy. What are you thinking? Could it be? About Amanda? I think she taught me a great deal. Especially what it means to protect someone. Or not, as the case may be. Of course, I would attribute that lesson more to Medusa myself, but maybe that's just me. Elena, we've got a long, hard road ahead of us. But I'll protect you no matter what. Wow, what a chauvinistic asshole. Because, you know, she hasn't been going all over the damn place on her own, or anything. I mean, well, to be fair, she has had some help along the way. <laughs> And this time, I mean it! Seriously, though? Wow. Since, since mana first began to flow, it has carried people's hearts on towards the future. We did it! Woo! Join me next time when we do more stuff with the things. Bye!
This world to be 